So the project I'm part of is called the Violet Satellite Project. Uh, it's part of the Space Systems Design Studio run by uh, Professor Mason Peck here on campus. And um, our goal is to create an entry for the Air Force Research Lab's University Nanosat project. Uh, so this is a two-year effort to design, build, test, and fly a spacecraft with a mission of your choosing. Since we just completed our critical design review, we're now starting the integration and test phase of the program. So now we're going to start building this satellite and have a prototype hardware for our re another review in August. This program is funded by the Air Force Research Lab, so that's our, our primary source of funding. Uh, we're also getting some help from the Air Force uh, Office of Scientific Research, uh, as well as uh, AIAA. We're building strong partnerships uh, with a variety of companies, uh, both on a supplier and a customer basis. So we're working with some companies that, of course, provide us hardware for the spacecraft that we're making. Uh, and we're also providing a service to uh, some other companies. Uh, they'll be running experiments on our spacecraft because our spacecraft will be a test bed of sorts. Being a, a systems engineer on the project, uh, I've needed to manage and be, a, be the leader for many of these processes that we need to implement on the project, like requirements and risk analysis and uh, things like scheduling. And I've learned how to do all of those processes uh, using systems engineering practices that we learn in the program. Uh, working on a project like the, uh, the Violet Satellite Project uh, I think is great for students because it exposes them to the kind of teamwork that you find in industry. Uh, you're not going to uh, get a problem and go to your desk and solve it by yourself necessarily when you're working at a company uh, as a professional. But uh, so the Violet Satellite Project exposes you to you know, solving a problem as